to have a, a volume study uh, from today onwards uh, every wednesday at the same time uh, but today uh, we're going to have the volume study it will be only for uh, 35 minutes or 45 minutes uh, okay uh, because uh, uh, this id what we're using is not a paid version so from next week we'll arrange something and uh, we have the alternate uh, zoom id so we'll change the zoom id so today we're going to have it only for 35 or 45 minutes uh, okay uh so before going to the volume study uh, i would like to uh, introduce a uh, few things uh, about the volume study uh, we all know very well that uh, our uh, uh, beloved brother brother uh, charles stays russell he has been used by the lord to uh, propagate uh, this uh, truth what we have been learning and uh, majority of the basic classes what we have been heard for past uh, almost two years uh, it is almost in detail it is recorded in the volumes so how many volumes you have if you see uh, we have got uh, six uh, volumes plus uh, tabernacle shadows so it is there in english and uh, the brothers have taken a good uh, initiative in translating uh, the first volume and uh, brother uh, uh, our brother ashish has shared uh, you see a little bit of uh, portions of the uh, chapter what we are studying today uh, you see in nepali so that's a wonderful work uh, that's uh, uh, been done it's really be uh, useful for uh, the brethren uh, to read it in uh, nepali uh, and uh, this uh, six uh, uh, volumes uh, uh, if you see uh, dear brethren uh, so what is there in these six volumes uh, if you see uh, in the first volume especially uh, the major uh, doctrines of the uh, basic doctrines like the ransom the first world the second world and uh, the three ways and the fifth universal empire uh, these things uh, are mentioned in the first volume so if you come to the second volume what is there in the second volume if you see all the things related to the time prophecy you see uh, it is there uh, in the you see second volume let it be chronology the gentile times the jubilees uh, the you see uh, the parallel dispensation uh, then uh, you have our uh, bible chronology and the date for the second advent and uh, the great uh, uh, truth about the antichrist system and the manner of our lord's uh, second advent is also given uh, you see uh, in the second uh, volume and uh, a third volume uh, is uh, thy kingdom come in third volume the things which are related to the establishment of the kingdom so what is the process so what is god's uh, plan regarding his establishment of the visible kingdom as well as the invisible kingdom on this earth so those things are uh, uh, clearly you see mentioned uh, in the third volume so therefore you see uh, in the third volume uh, if you see there are uh, some chapters uh, which are uh, being covered like uh, the some of the signs for the uh, end uh, times and uh, the visions and the prophecies are related to book of daniel daniel 9 chapter daniel 8 chapter and daniel 11 chapter and daniel 12 chapter is completely covered and uh, at the end you see uh, after proving that the kingdom of god is going to be established on earth in the last portion brother russell gives a one of the beautiful things what we are seeing in front of our eyes that is the nation of israel so what portion and what part will the nation of israel uh, have in the establishment of uh, a uh, visible kingdom on earth that is beautifully given uh, in the chapter that is called as the restoration of israel god willing will see all these things what today we have seen in front of our eyes brother russell has written many years before these things in the volume regarding the uh, you see israel and uh, how the after this one the other chapter is that the, how the church will be glorified how it will be joining with our lord and do the lord's activities these things are mentioned uh, in the third volume and we all have studied in the basic class about the great pyramid the great pyramid of giza 
So a particular a portion of this volume is completely dedicated for that uh, pyramid, uh, where uh, all the uh, details about the chambers uh, and the passages is mentioned uh, in that chapter. So uh, this is the third volume. Next, if you come to the fourth volume, fourth volume is a, a very, uh, you see, uh, intense uh, way of uh, uh, studying uh, the Armageddon, the bottle of uh, Armageddon. So what all things uh, God will arrange, you see, to gather the forces, uh, you see, together uh, to uh, bring about the Armageddon in this uh, world. So we have read uh, uh, the day of vengeance, uh, you see, in the Bible, so many scriptures we read, no, uh, this is the last day, this is the day of vengeance, uh, uh, this is the great uh, and terrible day of the Lord. So what does it mean? What are the uh, things that is going to happen in these days? So these things are beautifully recorded uh, in our, uh, you see, fourth volume. In fact, uh, especially in India, uh, you see, we have seen so many things uh, which have been fulfilled in this uh, uh, fourth volume. Like if I, if I want to share something like uh, example, GST. Uh, I don't know about your uh, Nepal country. In India, we have uh, GST. Uh, that means a common tax for all over India. But uh, uh, seven to eight years before, uh, this was not the trend. Uh, there was a different taxation for different different states. Uh, each and every state had its own taxation policy. But later on, they came about a one tax policy for the entire nation. So that had a lot of impact uh, upon uh, nation's economy. A small, small business were completely shut down. So many people lost their jobs. <coughs> So many people suffered financial crisis. So these things also, our brother Russell has mentioned, it. what will happen if the whole world has a common tax? What all problems will come that is really we have faced in India? And uh, you see, uh, this is about the common tax, uh, you see. And uh, uh, we have also seen, uh, uh, you, you have any common tax in Nepal or you have different different types of taxes like uh, for the sea, for the things you buy and you purchase or you sell. Is there different types of taxes, brother? Anybody who has any idea about that one? Gopal, brother, Ashish, brother. I think it's same, brother, 13% VAT. Okay. You still have that VAT. Yes. So you don't have, a, for the entire Nepal, is only the VAT? Uh, VAT and tax uh, tax also, brother, for, I think it's a different, brother, 20%, 25%. Okay, okay, okay. So it's, it's depending on the nature of business, brother. Nature of goodness, good, okay. And uh, did you ever have demonetization of the currency in Nepal? Okay. So let me explain. Demonetization means in India, a few years before, suddenly they announced in one night saying from tomorrow onwards, fine rupees uh, currency won't be in, uh, in circulation. It will be invalid. So nobody can use fine rupees currency. So once in a single night, that currency was demonetized. Did any such thing happen in Nepal? No, no, brother. Okay. So that had a severe impact because a lot of rich people, uh, they had accumulated, uh, you see, a uh, lot of uh, amounts about, uh, you see, 500 rupees and all. Uh, they had kept it in huge uh, amount in their houses. So once it was demonetized, immediately, you see, there was a very great disturbance in the society. Even this one, Brother Russell mentions in the volume. So what will happen if you demonetize if you stop the currency, what will happen? If you, if you use only, you see, the things which are uh, in other way around, like what digital currency it might be, or bonds it might be, what will happen? Even that one is also mentioned. So after this one, you see, Brother Russell also gives the solution, you see, for this Armageddon, how do you escape? Is there escape? Or we can escape or not? Is beautifully given. Then if we come to the fifth volume, the fifth volume is called as the atonement between God and man. So in that fifth volume, we have the first of all, uh, you see, about God, you see, where we uh, study about Trinity, you know, in our basic class, you see, that one in detail is given in this book. Uh, dear brother. And if anybody wants to, you see, know the difference between our Almighty God, 
and our uh, this is Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit that is completely given almost all the scriptures in the Bible regarding a heavenly father is completely detailed here. Even about Jesus Christ, how Jesus Christ was with the father, how he came to the earth, in what nature he was and how he is now with our Lord. So many controversy versus how do you tackle those things? How do you understand and how do you answer those questions? This is given there. And the, regarding the Holy Spirit, you see how God has given the Holy Spirit, how it works in us, how it gives witness that we are sons of God. So these things, you see, is beautifully given. And uh, the subject about ransom, complete detailed ransom, you see, the effects of the ransom, why ransom was given, why it is required, and what will be the benefits of the ransom, who will first take the advantages and benefit of this ransom. So all these things, uh, you dear brethren, this is given in the, you see, fifth volume. Now coming to the sixth volume is a very, very, you see, important of the volumes. Uh, you see, when Brother Russell wrote, you see, actually the sixth volume, <clears throat> this is of the last of the books. But in fact, if you see, Brother Russell did not write, uh, you see, the sixth volume, at the last, you see, many of the brethren believe that uh, it was uh, written uh, almost at uh, al almost uh, after the second uh, first volume. You see, the first volumes was not called as the first volume. In fact, it was called as the uh, food uh, for Christians. You see, the, and uh, that book got circulated in the US in such large quantity. You see, uh, initially when Brother Russell uh, published the first volume. Uh, what actually happened was that uh, uh, some some lakhs of copies were sold, uh, that means it was published and it was put to sale, but nobody purchased it, only few copies were sold. Then uh, Brother Russell got, uh, you see, uh, uh, he began to put a question, why these volumes are not being sold, it's very important, these things is not being selling, why? Then Brother Russell took that volume and reread it. <clears throat> you see, when he read it, he had written that volume in a negative way. Negative way means what? You see, always saying this is not correct, that is not correct, this is wrong, this is wrong. So whenever a person, a Christian, you see, who is new to the truth, he doesn't know anything, if he, if he takes that book and immediately if he starts reading, he'll get only negative points. So what Brother Russell did was that he took back all the copies, he rewrote re -wrote the entire first volume. You see, in a positive way. He never told anything negative about Christianity, but he told only the positive things in the Bible. First of all, he proved that Bible is the divine revelation. You see, the Bible is God's, uh, you see, uh, revelation. So, Bible is very important and there is a God you, above all these things. So, that one is the first thing Brother Russell deals with. And uh, after this one, it begins to, you see, show the three words, the three ways, the seed of the woman, why God permits will, what is the purpose of the Lord's second coming. So, all these things at all, you see, in this book, uh, when it was rewritten, it was a very attractive book. In the US, you see, during the days of Brother Russell, you see, this was one of the most sold books ever, ever sold books. You see, during those days, Brother Russell had so many contemporary uh, writers and uh, you see, so many persons, uh, sermons, uh, pastors and all. But Brother Russell's book, first volume was uh, extraordinary. Dear brethren, so it sold maximum, you see, during uh, his days. Uh, so, this is uh, about the first volume. But after this one, he wrote the sixth volume. So later on, when they, uh, you see, compiled the volumes, uh, you see, what happened was that they uh, put it in a different, different uh, format, like first volume. Based on the sequences, they labeled as the first and second and third, fourth and fifth and sixth. But in fact, the sixth was the second that was written. And uh, does anybody know what was the original name for the sixth volume? Now the sixth volume is named as uh, the new creation. But do you know what was the name for the sixth volume, original name for the sixth volume? Anybody? Any idea? Any guess? Ashish brother, any possibility that you have studied that one? Uh, brother, I am outside for a while. Today is it's festive season. I am occupied outside. Sorry, I cannot uh, okay. communicate. Okay, no issues. Gopal brother, any idea? 
Uh, no, brother. Okay, the original name for the sixth volume was The Way to Life and Happiness. You see, The Way to Life and Happiness. That was the name that was given, you see, uh, for the sixth volume. So in the sixth volume, what we have, what are things are there in the sixth volume? You see, the name that is now given is called as a new creation. You see, so what is there in the sixth volume, if you see it, then you see, the sixth volume, it has got, uh, you see, almost uh, nearly around, uh, what do you say, 17 chapters. So in these 17 chapters, what is there, if you see, the first chapter is called as In the Beginning. It is completely, you see, dealing with the creative days, uh, which is mentioned in Genesis first chapter. You see, so what all things happened and what is uh, this uh, day, Morning and evening was the first day. Sorry, evening and morning was the first day. What does it mean actually? So why it's given every day and after each and every day it is mentioned that good. So what it actually got to do? Is it really a 24 hour day? You see, so Brother Russell deals with this one in that chapter. And next chapter it comes, the new creation, the consecrated new creation. Why the consecrated new creation who is trying to attain to the heavenly salvation why is he called as the new creation? Why that special title, new creation? We are all old creatures, no? We are all formed in Adam. But why is we are called as new creation? What is the difference between the creation which God had already created in the creative days and between the church? That is mentioned in that one. And next, the third chapter is the call of the new creation. So what is this call of the new creation? What is the purpose of the call? Why you are called for the heavenly salvation? Why nobody else were called? What is this purpose of the new creation? What is our calling is completely dealing? That is given in the third chapter. And the fourth chapter is called as the new creation predestinated. That means so many Christians believe that even before our birth, God had predestinated, you see, those people who had to go to heaven and those people who already... Uh, supposed to go to hell, they are already fixed, so there is no changes at all. So, whether we try to do good or bad, we are already our destiny is already fixed. So, that is, you see, that is mentioned. In that one, beautifully, dear brethren, the, uh, the Pharaoh, the Pharaoh's incident, uh, where the Bible says that uh, the Pharaoh hardened his heart, how Pharaoh's heart was hardened. What does the Bible say? You see, it is beautifully given. And Romans uh, 4th chapter to 9th chapter is dealt beautifully in this uh, chapter. And next, if you come to the 5th, uh, you see chapter, the organization of the new creation. Organization means what? We all have a ecclesia. Of course, Nepal ecclesia is very small. But in all over the world, there is an ecclesia. In, our, in each and every ecclesia, there is an organization. That means there is a uh, there are elders, you see. There are deacons, you see. There are various uh, other offices which have been assumed by the brothers. You see, so how do you, uh, you see, assume these offices? So who needs to take care? So what are these things? So what does the Bible say regarding this? And what had been in the initial churches during the days of apostles? That is beautifully given there. And actually, we come to the sixth chapter: the order and discipline of the new creation. So order and discipline means what in Ecclesia? How do we behave? So, what is the order of service? So, how how should we begin? How should we end? So, what are things to be there in the Ecclesia? What matters has to be discussed? And what types of meeting has to be there in the Ecclesia? These things have been covered in that one. Next, if you come, you see the chapter number 7 is called as the law of the new creation. So, what is the law of the new creation? So many Christians believe that we are not under the law. Brother, we are not under the law. We, we don't want any law. So we were no more in the law. So we are all new creation. So Old Testament uh, and the law was given to the people of Israel. So we got nothing to do with it. So many people, they go to the complete extreme saying that, oh, we don't want to keep any things of the law. But uh, what is the law which God has given us? Apostle Paul says that, uh, you see, the, uh, there is a golden law which God has given us. So what is the golden law? You see, so how as new creatures, we need to keep the law or not. That is beautifully covered. Next, if you come, Sabbath of the new creature. So, Sabbath, you see, Sabbath means what? A day of rest. 
Six days you work, seventh day you rest. So what is that Sabbath for the new creature? You see, the sabbatical Christians, or what do you say, the seventh day Adventist, they say, no, oh, one day you have to give complete to the Lord. You are not doing that one. You see? So what is that one? What is that the real Sabbath for the new creation? Next, you see, chapter number nine, the judgment of the new creation. Uh -huh. What is the judgment of the new creation? You see, how do we judge the traveling matters? You see, how do we deal with uh, so many things? First of all, he speaks about the judgment which God is giving to the, you see, the church. And uh, you see, not only that one, see, what matters uh, as a brother or as an ecclesia, the brother need to judge. So how do we decide those things? This one is mentioned. And next, uh, the 10th chapter is called as the baptism of the new creation. The baptism. What is the meaning of baptism? You see, we are studying in the basic class now. That is completely in detail mentioned in that chapter. Baptism. What does baptism mean? Uh, does it mean that uh, immersing, uh, you see, just because for the forgiveness of sins? Or is it something else? Uh, that is given there. And the ninth, uh, sorry, 11th chapter is the Passover of the new creation. The Lord's Memorial Supper. We had it uh, in Nebuch this year, no? So why it has to be done? Yearly ones. What is the scriptural basis for it? In detail, Brother Russell mentions in this one. And so many testimonies about so many churches in this world. How do they do it? And that 12th chapter is marital and other privileges and obligations of the new creation. Marital means what? Marriage. You see, as new creatures, there's nothing wrong that we get married. You see, so it depends upon each and every individual whether you want to marry or don't want to marry. You see, but how do we take the decisions as a new creature? Whom do we select? You see, our uh, partner. You see, whom do we select as our partner? You see, who should they be? How compatible they should be? How do we select? You see, like for example, if somebody wants to see a bride or bridegroom, this is, will we simply blindly trust them and uh, you see, marry them? No. There are some criteria. So what is the criteria? As per the scriptures, a new creation has to decide. Okay, next Chapter comes, chapter 13, is the parental obligations. Parental obligations is what? Uh, you see, we're all having children. You see, so how do you take care of the children? Huh? Some children are very rude. Some children are very soft. So how do you deal with them? You see, whether the parents should beat them, whether the parents should scold them. So what things uh, the, children, the parents have to do to the children? Huh? You see, so these things are mentioned there. You see, beautifully it's given by them. Uh, and uh, uh, the chapter, uh, uh, you see, what we have selected is chapter 14, the sundry earthly obligations. Uh, you see, this chapter, why we have selected is that uh, so many things, uh, you see, as new creatures, we need to mend immediately as soon as our consecration life happens. You see, because so many things we would be doing it in the world as Christians without knowing the scriptures properly. But we need to understand and see what things as we need to do when we are living in the society. We are living in the society. We can't completely leave the society. There are neighbors, there are friends, there are relatives. So, in this uh, sundry earthly obligations, uh, there are so many things which are uh, mentioned as to how we need to behave. And uh, when we are living in the societies, what things we need to do and what things we should not do. You see, some things uh, in the society, we are obliged to do it. We can't, uh, you see, uh, neglect those things. So, which things are reasonable and which things are not reasonable. So, we'll be studying that one. So, why we have selected that one as the main thing is that uh, because uh, uh, there are some minute uh, tuning that has to happen uh, within us, you see. So, that is very important. Uh, so, if you neglect those things, what will happen? It will uh, start... Uh, to debate in various ways. So, as we become new creations, you see, as we are still a child, a babes in Christ, it is very, very important that we select a good track. So, we walk it on it properly. And the next chapter, the chapter 15, is the force and businessment of the new creation. You see, the force 
you see and uh, besetment of the new creation is what uh, you see we all know we got uh, enemies isn't it as new creature we got enemies no can anybody tell me who is the enemy of the new creation does any new creation have any enemy we all have consecrated no do we have any enemy anybody flesh good then world and lastly satan very good adversary very good so these are our enemies so apart from that one is there any enemy you see we will study that one so this enemy how does it attack us you see satan does it come does he come in front of us and boldly face to face does he attack us no he comes in a very subtle and a different manner so what are his ways of attacking a new creature based on scriptural examples they will run you see we will understand that one and uh, in this one we are going to understand how lucifer was created how lucifer was with god why did he become the adversary what all things uh, you see that made him to become the adversary of god and why did not god uh, punish him why did not god try to correct him also so there is a, there should be a reason no so we do lot of mistakes god punishes us he corrects us but why did not god do the same thing uh, to uh, Uh, the devil la uh, what is the reason so we study those things okay and uh, uh, you see uh, 16th chapter you say the present inner tense of the new creation you see this is one of the wonderful and beautiful uh, chapters dear brother the present inner tense uh, you see so, so many contrary verses contrary verses in this uh, chapter has been dealt uh, like uh, the thief was in the paradise the paul had a very earnest desire to see to be with the lord so how what is that one so we need to leave our flesh there and go to heaven in what type of body we need to go to see the mount of transfiguration jesus was suddenly glorified had a beautiful transfigured body and along with him moses and elisha were standing so what is this one so we will study so many contrary verses in this one and at last the last chapter is chapter number 17 the resurrection in retains of the new creation you see dear brethren in this chapter the resurrection concept you see is mentioned what is the meaning of resurrection resurrection means what will happen all the dead persons will come back to life and they will do what what are the things they are going to do where will they be you see so these things are uh, is mentioned there and what will happen actually in the resurrection who will come first who will come last how will they come in what type of bodies how will they identify each other how will they recognize so what type of communication will be there these things are beautifully mentioned in this you see last chapter of the sixth volume so this is complete introduction or a comprehensive you see uh, introduction about the sixth vol six volumes you see say then apart from this one we have the tabernacle book you see i think uh, brothers uh, would have it uh, in english also they might have sent it to you so the tabernacle shadows uh, regarding uh, the tabernacle uh, sacrifices uh, you see that i mentioned in the old testament uh, why the tabernacle was constructed how each and everything was constructed what type of materials are used why such materials were used what is the reason for it uh, why so many sacrifices were given you see so many types of sacrifices are there if god really wanted uh, you see a sacrifice for uh, uh, forgiveness of sin then god could have asked only one sacrifice no why various types of sacrifices god tells go and get a dove you see uh, a lamb should be given a ram should be given a bullock should be given uh, that to select the bullock in such type lay his hand slaughter it take the blood put it in the, such and such uh, you see way you should not put the blood blood in any portion in whatever way you want it you see why items has to be in particular places what is the meaning of all these things you see so these things dear brethren are recorded in the tabernacle shadows okay so we will be studying 
you see in detail about uh, all this uh, volumes god willing so but uh, the first thing we are going to study is the sundry earthly obligations from the sixth volume okay so uh, next week from next week same wednesday okay 8 o'clock india time okay i will join you and we will continue with the our volume study about the sixth volume okay so uh, this id what we are using it uh, you see is not a complete version so it will de definitely get discounted so by next week we will arrange for a uh, complete id so that you can use it uh, regularly uh, so uh, anybody has got uh, anything to ask or speak uh, uh, you're free to suggest or you're free to speak or else we'll uh, end with a word of prayer anybody anything uh, brother, brother uh, Raju, sorry hmm. uh, sorry i forgot that this idea is expired uh, so i shared this id anyway we had another idea as well so no, yes. is it uh, possible to renew this id i'll do it brother i'll do it this week what id we are using for saturday i'll try to fix that id for the same date also brother i'll do it i also forgot it i also thought that uh, this was the same id anyway we'll do it uh, coming week i'll do it brother Okay. 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 Gopal Badar, anything you want to say? Uh, no, brother. Thank you so much for the class. Okay. Joel Badar, Munna's sister, Romy's sister, Amar Badar, anything? Not at all, brother. Okay. Joel Badar, anything? Munna's sister? No question, brother. Okay. So, this volume study, uh, it will be very new to you. I know definitely. So, it will take time for all you, all of you people to get adopted to it also. Okay. So, no need to worry. It will be, uh, God willing, it will be going in a wonderful way. And uh, it can be inter interaction also. So, you can also speak uh, as the days goes on. So, you need to get the time to get settled. So you can also interact, you can also put some questions, so we will be asking some questions. So whatever is there, you can answer. So don't ever think that uh, uh, when we, uh, when somebody is asking a question, always your answer should be right. Okay. So whatever you know, you can let us know. We will try to see what is correct and we try to understand that one. Okay. So we will end with a word of prayer. It's okay. Okay then. Then, good. Uh, then, uh, Romy, sister, you want to tell something? Uh, no, brother. Okay, good. Uh, Amar, brother, you want to tell something, brother? No, brother. Okay, then. So, we'll end with a word of prayer? Okay. Okay. Amar, brother, can you pray? Okay, brother. Mahanani Sarvasati Man Parmeshya Pida, I'm the Paradani Vadins Azaku, you summa even in the Zasetabale Azaku, you summa, brother Razudara, I'm like your class Lini Moka Dinovoyo, I'm the Paradani Vadins, your introduction pony, the me, I'm running the Motu Purnatio, Nani Tiscaran, I'm the Paradani Vadins, Sasate, brother. Rajula Pani, I mean, Tani Vadinso, Pani, you saw me, I mean, Tobacco Sor Maraxo, Agamidino, or my probe to my permission in a I'm like Tobacco, you Rosemoy, Kura, like Business of Nichamata, Rodopanko, Summer Sotira, Medinus, Pani, I mean, Business of Muni, Rata or so, Tani Vadis, Sobe, Kura, I mean, Tobacco Sor Marate, Assisson and Gormaxo, Isupro, Povitra, and Utsano. Amen. 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 Thank you, everybody. Good night. Lord bless. Good night. Good night, brother. Thank you, brother. Bye. Good night, bye, brother. Everybody. Thank you so much. Bye, Joel, Thank brother. You. Bye, my brother. Muna, sister. Bye, bye. Bye. Bye, brother. Bye. Ashish, brother. Bye. Good night. Good night, brother. Bye, bye. Good. Good. So, divine plan chat has come out nicely. Good. <laughs>